Hello everyone, this is just going to be a short lesson on circles. So in the previous lessons we've been looking at perimeter and area and we're going to do the same for circles. However, in a circle we don't call it the perimeter. Okay? In a circle we'll cross that out and we rather call it circumference circumference that is the name for perimeter when we use a circle why do we do that who knows but that's just the way it is so when we talk about the circumference of a circle it's this distance going all the way around on the outside okay now when you see a circle I want you to think of pi okay like I don't know you could eat a pie maybe and some pies are circular well most of them aren't but let's no they actually are some of them are so pi okay so to work out circumference you're going to use 2 pi r what this means is you're going to take the number 2 multiply it with pi and then multiply it with r on your calculator I mean r <laughs> which is the radius of the circle now some students get a little bit confused they're like Kevin what is radius okay the radius is this distance here if you have a circle and you have the middle of your circle then the distance from the middle to the outside we call that the radius if it goes from the one side of the circle through the middle but then it goes all the way to the other side that is called the diameter okay but what we want to use in our formula is the radius and then to find the area of a circle you're going to use pi r squared so trust me guys a lot of students they confuse these two formulas with each other okay remember circumference the two is in the front with area you put the two up at the top okay so make sure you understand that and you remember that so for the first circle here on the left to work out its circumference we're gonna say 2 times pi times radius. Now, your teacher might tell you to use pi on your calculator or they might tell you to use the number 3.14. Just do whatever your teacher tells you to do, okay? So, let's say that your teacher does say 3.14. That's what pi is, it's 3.14. It's, it's a little bit different to 3.14. It's actually, it's a number that never stops. But if your teacher asks you to use 3.14, just use 3.14. Then the radius of the first circle from the middle to the edge is five. Okay, so we're gonna say five. And if we go type this on the calculator, you're gonna get 31.4 meters. Okay, now the area is pi radius squared and so that's going to be 3.14 if your teacher tells you to write pi then your calculator can write pi for you okay you can just ask her how to do that and then the radius we said is 5 and then to the power of 2 and if you go type this on your calculator you get 78,5 78.5 and remember that when you're doing area you always have to end it with for example meters squared okay and now we're gonna do the example on the right hand side and so if you want you can pause the video and try this one yourself but what we're gonna do is find the area as well as the circumference so just remember once again circumference is the distance on the outside that is what circumference is and so the circumference we said is 2 pi r and so that's gonna be 2 times 3.14 and then r must always be from the middle to the edge so this length is 30 but that's from one side to the other side so to use the radius we would have to have half of 30 and half of 30 is 15 and if you go work that out on your calculator you should get 94,2 centimeters then to work out the area we know that that's going to be pi r to the power of 2 and so that's going to be 3.14 we said that the radius is 15 and that's to the power of 2 and that's going to give us 706.5 centimeters squared. So what I would like to have a look now is at semicircles. Okay, so a semicircle is the same as a half circle. So let's we're going to work out the perimeter where well, we should call it the circumference. Oh no, now we don't have to really call it a circumference. It doesn't really matter, you can call it perimeter or circumference. Um, but because it's got a straight piece, I'm also I'm just gonna call it the perimeter. Okay, now 
Pay attention, guys. This is where some students get a bit confused. The perimeter is the distance that you have to walk around the shape. So you would have to walk all of this, and then you would also have to walk along here. Okay, so let's start with the blue piece. How far do you think the blue piece would be? Well, the blue piece is just going to be 20. Why? Because it's 10 up till here, and then another 10, okay? So that length is 20, so we've done that. Now, how are we going to work out this length over here? Well, we know that if it was a full circle, you would say, to work out the length on the outside, you would have to say 2 pi radius. So we're now going to do that as well, but we're then going to say divided by 2, because we don't want all of the length around the circle, we just want from here up to here. Okay? We don't want these pieces at the bottom. So that's why we're going to divide it by 2, because we only want half. Okay? And so we can say plus 2 pi radius divided by 2. And so that's going to give you 20 plus. Now pi, your teacher will probably ask you to say 3.14, and then the radius of the circle is always from the center to the outside, and so that's going to be 10. And so if you go work this out, that'll give you 82.8 centimeters. Now we're going to work out the area. So to work out area, we know for a normal circle that'll be pi r squared, but that's if we have a whole circle, and so area is always the stuff on the inside. But now we only have half of that, okay? So we only we only want half of that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to divide this one by 2. And so that's going to be pi times the radius, which is, oh no, pi, sorry, is 3.14. The radius is 10, and that's going to be squared divided by 2. So this is going to give us exactly 157 centimeters squared. Okay, now we're going to move on to a quarter circle. So here we have a quarter circle. So a quarter circle is the same as a normal circle that has been cut into that, okay? So it's been cut into four, and we just have one of those fours. Now, to work out the perimeter, that's the distance on the outside. So we know that this length is 20. This length would also be 20. Why? Because if you have a circle, and you have a center of your circle, then no matter which way you go, as long as you go to the side of the circle or the outside, all of these lines will have the same length. Okay, we call those the radius of a circle, and they all have the same length. So for example, this is the center of the circle, so it means that this length must be the same as this length. And so we know that this part here would be 20. And so we already know this length is 20 and this length is 20. Now we need to find a way to work out this part on the outside. So we know that if it was a complete circle, to work out the length on the outside, you would say 2 pi radius for circumference. And that would give you all of this. But we only want one quarter. So we only want to go from here up to here. We just want this piece. And so because we only want one quarter, we are going to divide this answer that we get here by four. Because we only want one of the quarters. So we're going to divide by four. And so to work out our perimeter, we're going to say 20 plus 20. Why? Because that's this piece and this piece. And then we're going to do the circle part, which is this on the outside. And so that's going to be 2 pi radius. But that's for a full circle, but then we'll divide that by 4, because we just want a quarter. Okay, I hope that that makes sense, guys. And so if you fill this in, it's 20 plus 20, plus 2 times 3.14, and the radius is 20 over 4. Go ahead, type this in on the calculator, and you should get a value of 71.4 centimeters. Now the area, if it was a full circle, and you wanted all of the area, you would say pi radius squared. But we only want this. We just want one of the quarters. And so we're going to take that answer and we're going to divide that by 4. Okay. And so if you go fill this in, will you first say pi? Nope, not pi, Kevin. We're going to use 3.14. So 3.14 
multiplied by the radius, which is 20, to the power of 2 divided by 4. And that's going to give you 314 centimeters squared. Remember, area always gets a squared. And so there we have it, guys. In this lesson, you learnt about circles. Thank you very much for watching.